Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm Skylar Collins. I'm a freshman from North Star High School. Speak poet! Yeah. And this is my poem called Lockdown. Attention students and staff, we are in a lockdown drill. This is a lockdown drill. Lockdown. Let me tell you, Mr. President, even Cheerio crumbs deserve more than a condolence in a Twitter post. And let me ask you, Mr. President, do you love the way goodbye phone calls roll off our tongues like tears roll off cheeks? There's a reason we have lockdown drills. There's a reason they're as necessary as the precautions we take for something as natural as flame. Lockdown, she had an idea to put books over our heads to deflect the bullets. I'll use that in the future. The way this is going, I know I just might have to in the future. Lockdown, you tell us to grow up when we are obedient. Then tell us to sit down when we rebel. As soon as we are the ones with the microphones, we are just children. Go back to school, you say. But I've learned more from YouTube videos of Parkland survivors than I ever will from civics class. I learn more about greater than values from the president's Twitter feed than I ever have from algebra. Go back to school, you say. Do your homework, you say. You're just a kid, you say. Why do you think about these things, you say? But I'm just thinking about how there are parts of society that will shrug and send off thoughts and prayers, but will march for hours if they have to bake a rainbow wedding cake. God forbid the little statue on the top is of two men, but you know it's cool if we continue to get shot, right? Lockdown, when you boil it down, no one is truly equal. That man posted videos about shooting up schools, but here's the trigger. My little brother can't bring Pepto-Bismol to school without a doctor's note, but someone with an obvious history of expulsion and anger issues gets to carry a gun. I get kicked out of class for wearing a spaghetti strap tank top. Maybe you should regulate killing machines as well as you regulate my exposed shoulders. One of them distracts the boys and the other hands out destruction like it's parade candy and unfortunately my collarbones don't have that kind of power. <laughs> Our problems have suddenly shifted from writing essays on time to writing wills before we hit the deadline. They've gone from passing notes to our crushes, to leaving texts for our mothers, from running with our friends in PE, to seeing the boy who made you smile on the gym floor with 911 on the line. The kids from Columbine don't have nine lives. All these lies being told to us as if talk is supposed to secure our education. As if tweets telling us you're so, so sorry will make it true. I'm so, so sorry that in this country, the bullet takeoff ringing in your ears is louder than your children's words. In this country, we are the home of the free, but the land of the silenced. They were somebody's baby. They were somebody's coach. They were somebody's mother. I wish I could look him in the eyes and tell him that we need a leader that will stand for us and with us, not push us to the side and hope we turn out OK. You told us you'd fix it, but we are much smarter than you think. I wish I could look him in the eyes and ask him how he can be more outraged that people kneel for the flag than he is at the fact that kids are dying locked down. After we are all dead, it'll all be the same again, the same story. You'll tell your country it was tragic, then do it again, then smile for more pictures with the hospitalized in the morning lockdown. When will it stop lockdown? Did you forget that we're the ones that will be voting soon? Lockdown, I'm just waiting for the day when I hear attention students and staff. We are in a lockdown. I repeat, lockdown. It's not a drill this time. 13 people died April 20th, 1999. You think you would have learned the first time. 26 lives in 2012. They learned too quickly what the barrel of a gun looks like when it's on the other side of a classroom window. 17 deaths on Valentine's Day. How is it that we're constantly told that we are the future of America, but we aren't protected by the people that are supposed to be guiding us to that future? How many times do we have to say it? How many times do we have to die? How many times will an innocent child's face be put up on the TV because someone wasn't careful enough? Adults are always telling us that their information goes in one ear and comes out the other. But why get mad at us for forgetting a grocery list when you've forgotten about what's going to make America great someday? <laughs>